I love sharing something like this. Like, this is highly effective. This woman made use of these two ingredients, mixed them together, and her husband came back to her. She did not believe it. There are some forces that drives away man from the house, that makes the woman to start misbehaving in the house. It may not be ordinary. You have to try these two things, mix them together, and you see things balancing. Everything will balance in your marriage. If you are in a relationship and this guy promised you marriage and all of a sudden things start going wrong, mix these two together and you see it for yourself. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. Thank you for always coming back. For those that are always watching my videos, you guys are the best. And if you are new here, you are highly welcome. My name is Pamela. On this channel, I share spiritual tips and also messages. Spiritual tips that will change your life greatly. Spiritual tips that will make things to start working perfectly for you. You do it neatly. Follow the instructions. By the grace of God, you see things working amazingly. Just like a magic. Just like this particular video I'm sharing today. I'm going to show you how to mix cinnamon. Cinnamon powder. A mixing with sugar to make your loved one to come back to you. Like this particular video, I've shared it in the past. You can go through my video because my videos are much. So just go to YouTube, search Palmas TV, cinnamon and sugar. You see that particular video, though it's years back, but that video is still very potent. Like, you know, something spiritual is forever. You will not say, oh, this is an old video. If you see my old videos, continue watching it. If you want to practice anything, practice it. I've not changed anything. So I'm repeating it today because some people were saying, please repeat that video, I cannot find it. I don't know why you cannot find it. It's very easy to get. So I'm actually making this because there are lots of testimonies from that video. You can go and check it out for yourself. Check through the comment sessions. There are some people that don't know how to type and share their testimonies in public. So they always message me on uh, Instagram and all that. I don't really reply so many people at once, but I just pick some, you know, randomly and check some comments like that. This woman is really like, she was so happy. She was like, oh my God, Pamela, I cannot believe this. I know it's very effective because before I share it, I know it's effective. It's just for you to do it with faith. There are some people anyway that will do it, but it will not manifest. And that is why I always say spiritual work is not for everybody, but this particular one will work for you. You particular person, you, it will work for you. You may not know who is going to work, so there's no harm in trial. Like I always say also, before you do any spiritual work, always seek God first. Tell God that this is what you want to do. If your faith is not there, please do not try it. But if you know that, yes, you believe that this is work for you, that God will show his power through this and bless you and change your story. You see it's working just like a magic. So this particular one, you have to get cinnamon and sugar. Missing them together, calling that your partner's name, calling that your wife's name. You want your wife to change. Maybe your wife is not doing well. You're just changing all of a sudden, misbehaving. I want to put it that way. Okay? Your wife is not doing the way she used to be. You know, the way she used to be so loving, so caring, so into the marriage, into the children, taking care of the children, and also minding her work. All of a sudden, everything has changed. Use this. Call your wife's name into this. And you see things changing. You just have to help her out because so there are some, it may not be her fault. It may be that there are some forces fighting against her restoration, fighting, fighting her in that marriage that need you to rescue her. It's best for you to do the needful. She's your wife. So I'm not doing this because of only a man. Also, if you're a woman, if you find yourself in this situation and your husband is doing something else, not into that marriage. Every time divorce, divorce. I need divorce. I need, I don't want. I don't want you again. All those things. Just do this. Okay, do it to call him back. But if maybe you are into that marriage as a result of snatching him from another person, this may be a nemesis. It may be karma fighting, like you know he was with somebody else and you took him from that person. Both of you got married. It may not be your rightful partner. So in this case, just pray. Continue praying and by the grace of God, anything that comes out, fine. Like I always say, do not take another person's husband. Do not use sham. It will not work. This is not a magic. This is a permanent one. And you must do it to somebody that loves you. 
Maybe if the person used to love you genuinely before, natural love, natural love, and the person all of a sudden is not loving you again, do this. Not the person that did not love you, you now use spell on the person. This may not work in bringing that person back because it's already late. You are just reaping the fruit of what you cost. So, in case you are in a relationship as well, just like I said earlier, and this person promised you marriage or is a, is a long time uh, commitment, the person don't want to settle down and get married to you, you can do it to make him or her to settle down with you. So, like I always say, also check your character for this, so that if your character is the one pushing that person out, everything is not spiritual. Everything is not caused by spiritual. It may be that you are not doing something right in that marriage that will make that person to get tired, that will kill that love. So check yourself and try to balance it out before you try it. So you have to get both. Okay? This is like a cleansing, like will require you to add water in it. You have to add cinnamon in water. Like first, you have to get a bowl, transparent or not. Then you have to add water. That particular one I shared in the past is not like this, so it's a different way. But you can just go through it, search, the way I say you should search, you see it. Add a tablespoon or half into that water. Then you have to add sugar, one tablespoon of sugar into that water. Use your hand, please. This is your right hand. Everything needs to enter that water. I didn't say you should use your finger. Have all your hands, use it to be mixing it like this into that water. So it's best for you to get a big bowl, which will be better. It's better to use a bigger bowl. Be mixing it like this in that water. Mix it. Make sure that the water is mainly. And, you know, mix everything together with your hand. Your right hand, please. As you are mixing it, be praying, you know. Be calling on to God. The finisher and everything in your life. The author and finisher of your faith. Everything. is your creator. He's the one that can make this to work. He's the one that can make power to flow into this work. And make it highly effective. So after mixing it. And calling on to God, telling God what you want, be praying and be doing it, that you want your husband to love you, you want your wife to return back the way she used to be. Then use this, wipe your face like this. So as you clean your face with it, there will be some cinnamon on your face, of course. Do not wash it out. Leave your face like that. In fact, it's best to do it when you're not going out, so that you can leave it overnight. Yes, leave it overnight. Then that water, do not throw away that water. You can still store that water in somewhere to use it later. You can store it in a can. Remember, you have to mix these two together. Mix cinnamon, add sugar. You see everything working. Some people, this particular work can attract prosperity because cinnamon opens doors. It brings good things to one. It makes you to be lucky. It makes you blessed. It makes things to start falling well for you. All good things to start falling well for you. Anything you try to do will start working for you. So use cinnamon and sugar. Just mix them together using your you dip your hand inside the way I demonstrated. Use it to wipe your face. Let, allow it to stay on your face. The remaining water that you stored, the next night or the next day, you can decide to use it again. Stay overnight. You can use it as many times as you want. But anytime you want to use this, you have to dip your hand also. You have to use it. Wash your face. Leave it like that to dry. Do not rush and rinse it out or, oh, I'm going out. Do it when you're around. So this particular one, even if your husband or your wife is no longer in that house, or maybe you guys have separated, no problem. Just do it. As long as you mention that person's name as you are moving that, as you are praying, as you are stirring it. Mention the person's name. For example, if that person's name is Samuel, okay, this is just an example, please. You have to be using your hand to Samuel, my husband, or you say Evelyn, my wife. I want you to behave well. God Almighty should change you to the way you used to be so loving, the way you used to be so kind, the way you used to be so caring to this home, to the children. If it's the person that wants to get married to you, if you know the person's name, please mention it as you are doing so. When you are done, use it to rub on your face like this. I like to try. Do not rush to remove it. You see things happening like this is highly effective. Just go on and mix these two together and you see it for yourself. Thank you so much for watching. Remember to subscribe, share this video to everyone. Remain blessed as always. I will see you in my next video. Before you go to bed this night or any night, alter your name.
three times. Alter your name or the person's name three times. Place it under your pillow and watch things happen the next day.